Hi everyone, imagine you have a page and every time you reload the page you get a random one digit number. And let's say you want to reload the page until you see the lucky number 7, like this one. Well, I have a Cypress Recurs plugin that is specifically made to solve this problem. So you import Cypress Recurs with the Recurs function and then you start using it and you have to provide at least two parameters. The first one is something that runs Cypress commands. In this case, I want to get this number, right, of a page so I can check it. And let's select it, copy to clipboard, we're gonna return the element, we're gonna invoke text, and we'll convert it to a number. So this will be our first function that works with uh, application. And now the second argument is a predicate function. So it will receive whatever this function returns or yields eventually. And in this case, it's gonna be n. And all we have to return true if the number is seven. In that case, we'll stop, okay? But notice right now, it just sits on the page after we visit it, right? So obviously it runs out of time because it's not changing the number. So that's where we have to provide options, and the most important option is what to do after the predicate fails, after it returns false or frozen error. In this case, we will reload the page. Well, notice we reload and immediately hit 7. If we reload again, okay, notice that it keeps searching until it runs out of time, and this all is controlled by the options, so we can say uh, limit how many times do we want to run the recurs, uh, timeout, what's the maximum amount of time we want to spend, and let's add a delay of one second between the iterations. Now it's much better. Every second reload, grab a number, check again 7, it's not, and we keep iterating until we either run out of limit or reach 7. Perfect. But let me modify the problem a little bit, right? And let's just disable the log as well. Otherwise, we have way too many messages. Let me modify the problem a little bit. Imagine I want to reload the page until I hit the number 7. But then I want to confirm that none of the numbers that I've seen before is 7, right? So I have to keep track of all the numbers that I've seen. Now, I could use, you know, internal variable and I could for example here or I say like numbers push you know n but there is a better way it's such a common operation to keep reloading the page or keep pushing the next button until you see something but Cypress Recurs has a built-in support for this so there are a couple options that we have to set think of array reduce right so here is our initial value we're going to start with an empty array. Think about reduce. Now, it's a function, and it takes the numbers, which is the existing reduced array, which initially is empty, and then n will be whatever was passed to the predicate. It did not pass. That's what will be passed as a second argument. And here we can say numbers push n. So we just add each number into that array. And... How do we get that array? Well, after you finish the recurse successfully, you can uh, define what you want to pass to the next, or yield to the next command. And we need the numbers. Well, unfortunately, by default, recurse yields whatever the last value was. But we can control it. We can say yield reduced value, right? Wherever we computed by calling the reduce on each value that did not pass of a predicate. We can also say reduce last value and change it to true. In that case, we'll get 7 as well, but in this case, we don't want that at all. So we're going to yield the reduce, which will yield that array. Now we can say, okay, expect numbers not to include 7. So let's see how this works. So we keep reloading the page until we see 7. We should keep track of all the numbers and add each number into that array. And then we hit 7. And remember, you know, 
this is the array of numbers the last number before seven was two which is what the page displays when it was four before that two again and so on now i think this is a lot of fun even empty array works out but yeah uh, reduce allows you to iterate while keeping a track of all the values and somehow producing the reduced volume. 